Are you sure you don't know who I am? Positive. Remember me now? <coughs> You're right. Which is why I wouldn't be throwing accusations about you and Finnegan Burke. On top of that, I've got all the proof I need. What if he needs more than a talk? What do you mean? What if JJ needs counseling? I know that's not what I think it is. This conversation is over. It's not over until I say it is. On top of that, I don't see you denying anything. You say that you have proof that there is something going on between me and Finnegan Burke. Show it to me then, gladly. This is you and him sharing more than a friendly kiss, and this is you both walking into a room together. Look at you, Heidi. Always knew you had a wild side, just a bit too wild. Maybe you should have looked around to see if anyone was around before you decided to hop into bed with Finnegan. Devante? Nichelle? Ulyssa? They're not here. You again. Hey, Isabel. I would have thought that she would be happy to see me this time around. Get away from me. You still haven't gotten over the fact that you'll never get rid of me? Only if I knew how to get you out of my head. That's never gonna happen, Isabel. You're stuck with me forever. No matter how much you want me gone, I'm never leaving. In fact, I never left. Counseling? Maybe we should think long and hard about that before we put our son into some sort of counseling. This is the perfect time to think long and hard about that. I think JJ should be involved in this conversation. As his parents, we have every right to get him into counseling whether he likes it or not. Hey, Wanda. Hey. From the tone of your voice, it sounds like something isn't right. Maybe you should tell me what's wrong, Udell. I can't if you can't tell me what's upsetting you. What's upsetting me is that I found a condom sticking out of our couch and I'd like to know where it came from. Asador, I will go to Finnegan and I will end the affair. If you didn't want to sleep with the police commissioner, then you wouldn't have hooked up with him in the first place. You're right, and I'm sorry. You shouldn't be apologizing to me. I'm not the one you married. Is that it? You want me to tell Gianni? Here's the deal, Heidi. Clearly you don't want Gianni to know that you've been sleeping with another man behind his back. What if I could let you keep having fun with Finnegan while my brother remains clueless? But there's a catch. Bingo. I need you to confess to my family that Gianni brought Harley back to town to ruin my event. What are you even talking about? Wow, Isabel. I'm surprised that you're still clueless when I gave you the hint with blood pouring out all over my body. You mean to tell me that didn't bring back any memories at all? Unless you turned your face away when it happened all those years ago. Turn my face for what? You're the one who's dreaming of me. Isabel, just be honest. Be honest with yourself and admit that you took my life. I agree with you, Shelly. But it will make it harder on everyone if we take JJ into counseling with him kicking and screaming. JJ hasn't been himself. We already had this conversation, Jeremiah. Yes, but we shouldn't just automatically decide on counseling. I don't see why not, especially when it seems like our son has only gotten worse. You think I know where it came from? Come on, Udell. Neither of us made love on that couch for a while. Before you say anything else, I want to know what you're implying. I'm not implying anything. All I want are answers. Let's make one thing clear. That condom is not mine. And it's not mine either. If it doesn't belong to you, and if it doesn't belong to me, then... Then... No. Yvette? Udell, do you think that condom belongs to Yvette? Did our baby bring that condom into our house? I can't just betray Gianni like that. 
Why not? You already betrayed him by breaking your vows. And you don't think that Gianni will suspect that you've got something on me when I tell the family that he brought Harley to town? Like I said, I had no idea that he would do something like that. But I bet you knew that he would do something just to spite me. Am I right, Heidi? So I should just be punished for Gianni's actions? As if you couldn't give me a heads up. You made your bed. Specifically with Finnegan. You're gonna have to lie in it. Besides, Gianni won't realize that I'm blackmailing you if you make it believable that you've got a guilty conscience. That's right, you're blackmailing me, Essador, the district attorney, who is sleeping with the police commissioner. How is that gonna look to the Valley Park taxpayers? You might as well kiss your position as district attorney goodbye if this gets out. You wouldn't. You know I would. Now back to my request. Make it seem like you have a guilty conscience. It might take a lot of time since you don't seem to have a guilty conscience for cheating on my brother. I have never taken anyone's life. Oh really? Do you think that your religious parents would agree with that statement? Answer me this, Isabel. Do I look like him? Look like who? My father. I don't even know your name. What makes you think I would know who your father is? Fair. You don't know my name. But you know exactly who my father is. That's why you took my life. Why would I take someone's life because of who their father is? Because my father was none other than Esidor Russo. The two of us spoke with JJ about Keith together. It makes sense for him to be upset, especially since we didn't tell him everything. And now he's going off on Vanessa. This isn't the first time he's done so either, which is why I've been worried about him in the first place. How about we wait it out? Let's see how JJ is doing after this lawsuit with Esador is over. Jeremiah, I can't wait that long. What if our son gets worse? Wanda, you need to stay calm. She's 14, Udell. 14 years old. Yvette is only a baby. What's she doing with the condom? We don't have all of the information. For all we know, there was a friend who came over and it might not even belong to Yvette. What if it does belong to her though? She shouldn't even be hooking up with boys at her age. She's too young to even be considering something like that. Before we call her down, the two of us need to remain calm. If we want her to be honest with us, then we need to keep it together. What would you even gain from telling Gianni about Finnegan and I? All it will do is tear the entire family apart. I would be doing my brother a favor by telling him that he's married to a woman who's been sleeping around behind his back. Besides, you should have considered how the family would have been affected before you decided to sleep with Finnegan, who's also married to Terry. So you would be affecting his family as well. I want you to tell my parents about Harley by tomorrow. Tomorrow? No need to play parrot, Heidi. Tomorrow and not a day later. If you still want to keep your spot as wife, district attorney, and my parents' favorite daughter-in-law, you already know how they feel about Harley. At least she didn't cheat on me. Imagine how my family will treat you after finding out that you've been unfaithful to Gianni. Nice chatting with you. Got nothing to say? You don't want to explain to me how you had the one night stand with daddy -o while you were married to Devante and was already a mother to the brother I never got to know? Do you not want to explain to me how you got rid of me to cover up the fact that you were unfaithful to your husband, not knowing or even caring about whether you would have a boy or a girl? You don't want to explain to me how my aunt Alvira caught you and dear old dad together? Alvera, do you mind telling me why my brother just walked out of your house and you don't have any clothes on? It's not what it looks like. I think it's exactly what it looks like, Isabel. What are you thinking? You're married. You have a son. Esador is with Harley. Please, don't say anything. Was it worth it, Isabel? Are you really happy knowing that you terminated the pregnancy without letting Esidora know about me? Are you at peace knowing that you had to sacrifice your child to save your marriage without even attempting to pass me off as Devante's? 
admitted Isabel. You took my life, your own flesh and blood. Admit it. Like we discussed before, JJ isn't a small boy anymore. He's a teenager and that's a time where his emotions are all over the place. Don't you remember how moody Vanessa was at his age? Our children are two years apart. Exactly. It's already enough work parenting one teenager, but we're parenting two. This is a new stage for us and a new stage for Vanessa and JJ. Try not to worry and jump into counseling, Shelly. With God's help, we'll figure it out. Who did you have over the house, Yvette? No one. Don't lie to me. Did you have someone over when your father and I were at Theodosius's palace? No. Yvette, it will only be best for you to be honest with us. Girl, you better listen to your father. Can you tell us why there is a used condom wrapper on the floor? It sure doesn't belong to your father and I. It's not mine. Maybe I'll take a look at the cameras and see if her story is adding up. Okay. I'll tell you. Who did you have over here? Yvette. Max Russo. Russo? What were you thinking, Yvette? Especially with what's going on between our families, little girl. And that's exactly what you are. You are 14. You shouldn't be hooking up with Max Russo. You shouldn't be hooking up with anyone. Is that what happened? No. Yvette Mitchell, you look me in the eye. The condom is open, Yvette. Not only are you bringing boys into this house, but you're lying about it. That's it. I want your phone, your computer, everything. You are in so much trouble. You're not going out anytime soon. No friends, no boys, none of that. Mom, I didn't even want to hook up with him. Wait, what do you mean by that, Yvette? Max, he, he made me. Made you? What do you mean he made you? Yvette, answer me. He forced me to do it. He, he forced himself on me.